Hello, children. Today we're going to be playing a children's card game. With, uh, computers. But anyways, I'm pretty sure most of you will recognize this children's card game. It's awesome. But, uh, this is a game engine designed for very simple manipulation of cards, you know, you could make your decks and stuff and just play each other online. I only just finished implementation of, you know, basic controls and whatnot, and I'm going to be coding in uh, container stuff so you can have stacks that are actually decks and not just stacks of cards, etc. And really simple uh, manipulation stuff, just like auto shuffling and, you know, auto piling. And then finally I'll write in the multiplayer code, which I've kind of uh, structured out, but I haven't really gone into because there's no point in coding it until the game works perfectly. But anyways, uh, the system is really simple. All you have to do is drop cards as PNG files into this folder and you can use them in this game. It's awesome. <laughs> anyways... I think I want to summon Jace Balaran, so I'm going to spawn some blue lands. There we go. Tap these motherfuckers. Oh yeah, it's Jace Balaran, motherfucker. Baby Jace don't care. He's a real American hero. I also have a lightning bolt, but I don't have any mountains, so yeah, it's not good. It's not good. Anyways, I don't have controls inverted yet, so uh, it's world not relative, and that's really annoying, but I'll code that later. Got this guy over here. Let's see what he's got. Got some fucking faggoty cards. Flip these over. You can see you can just flip cards over and over. Uh, oh, we got Mr. Emrakul. So, he's gonna need a lot of land for that. Let's go ahead and just put some fucking mountains down. Because, you know, fuck reasonable mana costs. 15. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'll be about enough mana. I think. But man, I made too many. Fuck me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh yeah, big big ol' Amakul out on the field. Gonna fuck your shit up. Yeah. So yeah. But it but it but it's K. Okay. It's all going to be K. Because, uh... Yeah. Yeah. This car's fucking awesome. Um... No, it's not going to take that bitch. Cards are pretty easy to see from at least mine. Um, you noticed there uh, there's an outline showing which card you have selected. You can just move them by left clicking, and you just select them by right clicking. Hitting F flips the card over, and um, just as a precaution, when I was working on working on this, a card that's flipped over doesn't actually show on the bottom side. Cause you can't, you know, do this to someone to see what they played. Um, cards are just rotated with the arrow keys, and you c and it's asynchronous, so you can do both at once. Cause, uh, yeah, it's awesome. I don't really know if there's anything else I really wanted to show today. This was this took a while to code, but it's moving along real quick. This isn't anything really complicated. I'm not doing card physics or anything. Yay. But I am going to get some, some land here, play Counterspell, and he's going to tap some more red lands, because, you know, that works, play Counterspell, or counter, more Counterspell. No. Not really much else to show. Um, there is this little problem here. I haven't, cards don't have any Z buffering, so you can clip them together like this. It's kind of funny. It's a 
lightning spell, counter lightning, something like that. Uh, yeah, that's about it. This video is over.